Hey guys, welcome. In my last video, we are facing a problem. So in this tutorial, we are trying to solve it. So let's check. Okay. So when we try to reset our password from admin panel, it goes to wrong path. But if you are try to you forget your password by user, it's totally fine. So let's check how you handle it. So now just forget your password, then all email are goes here. Empty the inbox. So now let's check. So basically our reset password method declare on reset password controller so look at the controller there are no reset password methods methods in here just the cursor on here and click on reset passwords yes all reset passwords methods are available on the state reset passwords right so it's reset fine rules so we are talking it in future credentials reset password yes this is the method when we hit the is a password form so let's check okay so by default when the reset password sub form submit then it goes to this guard login user that means after reset password form sorry after submit the reset password form it changes the user's password and goes to home by default okay so we are doing multi of the system by using single table which is users so that's why we need to change it just after submit this form we need to log out and return redirect to our base path with messages okay so right now we are not using this messages so in future we will do that so let's check what happened again i click on admin at gmail.com and click on send password is a link yes fine so now reset password deletion click here reset password so it's fine now i write my new password 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 is password and click on reset password yes it's totally working and it goes to example slash login Auth logout, right? Okay. So auth logout I just by default reject to login page. So we'll change it later. Now let's check it's working or not. Go to admin slash hyper login. Okay. what happened oh it's working fine so now write the admin email and password so now click on sign in yes it's totally fine 
so now we need a logout button so this is the route file so first of all we need to make a folder like admin and make a controller so php artisan make controller and slash admin controller so fine so to use this constructor it's check it's authentic user or not so you are, so you know that constructor is a magic method so now we need to set a logout button admin.data.php just write logout replace a form okay you can change it later logout okay it's unnecessary okay log out so now we make custom log out use route admin dot log out okay so admin dot log out fine so you are using admin dot php route file So now I will show you how to use your route proper way. Route group. So first of all, name space, then function. Okay. So name is space and also middleware middleware is is that right and name is space uh, HTTP controllers Okay, app uh, HTTP controller controllers admin this is the namespace. So we can easily use our all controller into the admin folder. So now we change the admin index method from home controller to admin controller. Okay. Just admin controller. Admin index. So home controller. Cut it out and paste here. That's it. So now we need a logout button, logout method. Admin dot logout. Oh, sorry, control shift D. It's called the draw of all. Right. Okay. Just select it. Test. Log out. 
Logout. So copy it. Make the admin logout method. Try to always comment in public function. Just write auth logout and return redirect. And we'll log in. Just use auth. Okay, so let's check what happened. Reload the page. Target admin control data is sorry. Admin control data is. We are using namespace app. So it's unnecessary. Have been controller at every index fine. This look like Laravel old version routes. Okay, so now we it. Yes, it's working fine. Now click on logout. Yes, successfully log in. Just try to use admin slash home. Yes, we need to log in. Okay, so now admin login is fine and write admin.com password is password. That's great. So always try to use this system. Just declare namespace and also declare the middle layer. The login file. Okay, fine. So okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. In next video, I will try to show you the alert messages and also the toaster notification system. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay with Lan Hunter and share this video.